Jacques Lemaire had to make a tough decision, put Corey Milne in his lineup because, of course, Bernie Nichols got suspended because of the cross check. Early on, Stefan Riche behind the net, loose puck. Burns the Rangers with a quick release in the wraparound. It's 1 0 for the Devils. The Rangers fall all over themselves. A heavy hitting affair. Anderson just gets nailed. Mike Richter solid in goal. Stefan Riche in front. Riche. No, turned away. Bill Guerin on the breakaway. Breaks it all along. Guerin back in. Scores. Beating a Richter. 2 0 Devils. Mike Keenan seat enough. In comes Glenn Healy to replace Mike Richter. Imagine that. Keenan making a goaltending change. Go figure. Some big hitting this game. Valerie Zellabukin just hammers Steve Larma with the big hit. Rangers come to the lead early in the second period on the power play. Mark Messier working out of the corner. Messier looks for and finds Stefan Mateau. Mateau converts. And it's 2-1 to one Devils after two. Martin Brodeur, the rookie, solid in goal for the Devils. Sergei Nemchinov cuts in, but Brodeur turns him away. Then the third period, the Devils cling into a two to one lead. Some terrific passing by the Rangers. Glenn Anderson back to Steve Larmer, but Brodeur is there once again to make the big stop. Devils put it away late in the third. Glenn Healy is caught behind the net. Little miscommunication between he and the defenseman. Valerie Zelopukin is there to scoop it in. Wrap around scores. Three to one, and that is it at the Meadowlands. A victory for New Jersey. Three to one, the final score. Riche, Garrett, and Zelopukin for New Jersey. For the Rangers, Stefan Mateau is fifth of the series. Series now all tied up at two games apiece. Martin Brodier had to make just 20 saves for this victory. Game five set for Monday night at Madison Square Garden in New York. But for now, let's go back to the Meadowlands. Standing by our Rob Sinclair. Well, maybe the Bernie Knuckles suspension helped fuel the Devils' fire because they came out smoking in the first period and were rewarded with two goals. Two goals that earned Mike Richter a quick seat at the end of the Ranger bench. And try as the Rangers did to regain control of this game, they couldn't. And now this series is tied at two apiece. Right from day one, I said it was going to be a battle. I mean, uh, they've got a great hockey team. I said it last after the win. They've got a fantastic hockey team over there. They're phenomenal. They play a great system. It's going to be a long and, uh, and drooling series, and uh, there's going to be some overtime games. I said that right from day one, and uh, sticking by it. Our team just showed character. Uh, a lot of people thought that we were gone. And, uh, you know, we played all year with character. We played uh, the first two series with a lot of character. And, again, we proved it tonight. They play hard, and uh, I have to give you every credit. They play hard, and uh, we know it was ready. You know, Rangers was re not ready. 20 guys not were ready. They win the game. The last three games, uh, they had a good start. They scored early goal, and we had to come back. We were, we were trying to come back the whole game, you know, all three games. But today we said, hey, let's let's try to get a lead and keep it, keep it, you know. And uh, I think it worked out really well, you know, the game plan we had, and we are really happy about win. Uh, but we got to get ready for the next game in New York. We're playing tonight like we have no tomorrow. I think uh, we didn't want to go to New York and uh, on Monday night and be behind by two games. So uh, tonight I think, uh, no, you guys saw the game. You know, we came out really strong in the first period. And for the first time in the series, we scored the first goal. So I you know we were pretty exciting about it. And then, uh, you know, we scored a big goal in the end of the third from Bill Guerin. And I think after this, you know, the momentum was on our side, you know, and uh, they changed Richter for Ely, you know, and for us that was a, that was a big deal, you know. Uh, Richter had been outstanding you know, in the first three series, and uh, I think for us at the time that was, uh, you know, that was great, and then we, we didn't quit. Well, that's your classic goaltender miscue mistake. You know, I'm the quarterback back there, and uh, I stopped the puck behind the net. We were first back, but um, he thought I was going to play it. I thought he was going to take it, and uh, I made a mistake, and Zella can pick the puck up and wrap it around. So there's no secret to that one. Howie Meeker would have no trouble figuring out what, what happened there. Guys play well in front of me, you know, like today, you know, the it's, it's it was unbelievable. It was nice to see, uh, but for sure confidence. You know, even for the team, there it's pretty high. But like I said before, you know, it's you know we're going to the guard and now. It's going to be difficult, and we have to play hard. So the Devils' weekend without Bernie still turns out to be a pretty good party. And what it does is guarantee yet one more visit here at the Meadowlands before this series is all said and done. Rob Sinclair, TSN, New Jersey.